A sequence of enhancement operations can be applied to a set of images in Images Plus very easily. Let's take a look at how we could do that. Uh, first of all, I need to generate uh, some images, a set of images to, to work with. So I'm going to start with this uh, digital camera raw conversion command and pick, oh, let's say, three raw images and then I'll convert them. And as soon as the first one finishes, I'm going to open it and apply some uh, brightness and uh, color adjustment to it while the other two are converting. And then when the digital camera conversion is done, we should be able to take the filters that we apply to this single image and apply it to the set. Um, Let's see, first of all, I'm going to increase the brightness a little. And then maybe I'll adjust the, the background color. Just a couple of commands to demonstrate this with. Okay, now if I wanted to s apply the same sequence of commands, it was first a brightness increase and then a color balance to a set of images, uh, I have two ways I could do it. I could uh, save these commands in a project using the uh, process history save as button. And then once I save those commands in a project file, uh, I could either load them to get back to this same image in its sequence of commands. Or when I press filter to uh, apply the sequence to a set of commands, I could either select the project file here or select the commands from the current image that's open. And that's what I'll do in this case. Then when I press the filter button, it'll take the commands from this image and apply it to the set of three images down here. And uh, since they're all similar images, when I when the filter files finishes, they should all have the same enhancement operations applied. Now to review those images, so here's the first input image and its filtered version. If you notice the FFT here on the file name, that's uh, filter files. It's the prefix. Last one, last input file. So let's open them and compare them real quick. If you just click on that, it'll open it. Here's the initial image that's been converted by RAW, and here's its filtered version. And uh, see, that matches the one we did manually by hand. That's how you use filter files. Uh, all the image set, well not all, but most of them where it's appropriate have a filter button that sends the input set of images to uh, filter files. And uh, you can also run it from the image set operations menu for the filter files. Okay.